What's up everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. On today's video I'm excited because I'm doing my first ever Starlight and this one is finished in honey barrels. Okay, so this is my first ever Starlight. It is a honey barrel finish. So obviously, we, if you've seen it, the Rio is one of my favorite bottles of the year and maybe of all time. Recently did the barrel uh, bourbon Amberana finish. So the Rio is an Amberana and honey. The barrel is just Amberana and now this Starlight is just honey. So we're gonna see maybe if there's one part of that Rio that I'm liking more than the other or if that combination is just so dang good. So. This Starlight is coming in at 115.7 proof. A couple little facts about it. It is four years old. It's got two different bourbons in it. One is a three grain of 60% corn, 20% rye, and 20% malted barley. The other is a four grain of 51 corn, 20 rye, 20 malted barley, and 9% wheat. So there was 126 bottles of this ever made, apparently, this particular batch. So I'm excited to get into it today. The bottle itself, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. The, obviously, it's got kind of the honey color on there, but really I'm going for this one for the taste. I am happy that it's 115 proof and not something lower where the honey is just going to dominate everything. I'm hoping that I still get some of the bourbon flavors in there with the honey. Haven't tried it yet, but we're going to go ahead and pop the top and see what we get today. All right, nice real cork on there. Real light topper, but real cork. Let's get the nosing out of the bottle. Definitely honey, honeycomb. Like uh, like the honey crisps, the honey crisp cereal, the honeycomb cereal, honeycombs or honey crisps. Maybe it's honeycombs, but they were one of my favorites growing up. Honeycombs, absolutely love them. That's what it smells like. A little bit of leather on there, maybe some uh, maybe some caramelized sugars. Okay, it smells pretty much what I would expect coming out of the bottle here. Let's go ahead and get a pour going and see what it's like coming out of the glass. Okay, so in the glass, it is pretty light. It is mostly a light yellow. So it's, you know, maybe that honey influence, maybe the fact that it's only four years old, I don't know, but it's very, very light coming in the glass out of the bottle. That may be why they use one of these thicker uh, bottles to maybe get that color darkened just a little bit in there, but go ahead and get the nosing straight out of the glass. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I was getting out of the bottle, that honeycomb, a little bit of leather, like a, a dry fruit, fruity leather. It's got a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of caramelized sugars, and then that real nice honeycomb overtones in there. It's got, it's got a, even a hint of musty in there, which I don't know if that's coming from the honey cask. Most likely is since it's only four years old, but it's got a little bit of mustiness in there. Okay, so I'm excited to try it. I love honey, so keep that in mind when you're watching this review. If you've seen the Rio review, I'm a huge honey fan. I like it a lot. I can eat it just straight. I can eat it just on a piece of toast, whatever. I just spilled some out of the glass somehow. All right, let's go ahead and taste with my first ever Starlight, the honeycomb, uh, honeycomb, the honey barrel finish. I mean, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's literally like drinking high proof honey. That's what I'm getting out of it. High proof honey. Like if you ever go to like an orchard or something and you get the honey when it's super fresh and it's kind of like granularly a little bit. So it's kind of like got that sugary kind of granular texture in the honey itself. That's kind of what I'm getting uh, out of this. Maybe a hint of that leather on there. A hint of leather, maybe some uh, rose. I'm getting rose. Maybe that's coming from the floweriness, the floralness of where the bees and the honey and you know all that. So a little bit of floraliness there. I'm picking out rose specifically, but it doesn't last overly long. The finish is basically the same as the palette. Mostly honeycomb, mostly that nice fresh granularly honey, but it does have a couple underlying flavors in there with the leather with the there is a hint of cinnamon in there with uh, the floraliness the rose a little bit in there so it's good i enjoy it i wish it lasted 
a little bit longer on the palate. Uh, it doesn't drink like 115. You can feel it, but it doesn't drink that hot, especially maybe it's the sweetness that goes along with the honey that's in it. I don't know, not in it, but finished in, maybe it really tames down the, uh, the proof there a little bit, but it doesn't drink like 115. Swish that one around a little bit in my mouth before I swallowed it. Got the honey kind of coated everywhere. That's really nice. It's got maybe just at the end, like just a, a pinch of bitter on it. Nothing, nothing bad, but just a pinch of bitter on the end. All right. So that's what I'm getting out of the Starlight, the honey finish at least. I never had another Starlight before. I had to order this online. I think it was 60, 65 dollars. It's been a couple weeks now since I've ordered it and I have so many bottles that it's hard to remember sometimes. But I think it was around $65 online, plus, you know, probably $15 shipping. So what am I gonna put this on the tier list? I mean, I, I like honey. If you don't like honey, you won't like this. But I like honey, so it's, it's a hard, it's so much, it's, it doesn't taste like bourbon really much at all. It tastes like high proof honey with a couple underlying notes in there. But I really like honey. So it's kind of hard to, to give this like a rating that I feel like is maybe gonna be accurate for a large percent of people. So I gotta just kind of go off of what it is for me. And for me, I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. I wish there was maybe a little bit more flavors in there. So I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go C tier on it. Even though I really like honey, I really like the flavors on it. It's just a one trick pony. It doesn't last over really long. It doesn't have a ton of depth of flavor, but I still really like it. I will definitely be enjoying sipping on this thing. I'm not gonna have any qualms at all sipping on this thing at night, especially if I'm wanting something like dessert -y, something after a nice hearty meal that's like, you know, sweet, got that nice, uh, punch to it a little bit so yeah I think it's gonna go on the C tier for me and that's good that's not bad at all it's just not uh, gonna be up there so I don't know I'm kind of thinking about maybe mixing this with the barrel Ambarana finish and seeing if that ends up anywhere close to the Penelope Rio I don't know let me know what you guys think about that idea down in the comments below make sure you check all the links down there for the discord Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a bottle back there behind my shoulder. I appreciate y'all being here, and I'll see you for your next drink.